these studies of stream fishes suggested that resident populations were sedentary. Recent work has documented many individuals of various species vast movements throughout a multitude of systems, such as brook trout, smallmouth bass, and flathead catfish. Each stream's conditions fluctuate in unique and specific ways, compounding the daily, seasonal, and annual rhythms, and so does their inhabitants' behavior synchronize. Brown trout movements are dictated by quality and abundance of habitat. Three distinct temporal scales emerge. Deal, for feeding. Seasonal, patterns for spawning as well as avoidance of stressful conditions. An ontogenetic life cycle, such as when juveniles emigrate to larger habitat following adults. Populations of brown trout vary in behavior as their streams vary. Populations on Ontario's Credit River and Ireland's River Dodder experience depressed growth rates and reductions in physical condition over winter. The opposite is observed in Minnesota's portion of the driftless area. Thirty-eight point forty-eight degrees Fahrenheit is the minimum temperature for brown trout growth. Surface water dominated streams closely track with air temperatures, often dropping below 38 degrees. Groundwater input, such as what comprises most of the driftless area, has a buffering effect on stream thermal regime. Maintaining optimal temperature ranges for brown trout growth, even when air temperatures are below freezing. Minnesota's DNR in 2006 observed that large brown trout move extensively during spring and fall, but tend to limit themselves to small home areas, even single pools during summer and winter. How specific habitat is of particular suitability, the probability of finding trophies was positively related to the presence of water deeper than three feet and with some combination of woody debris in-stream rock and overhead bank cover. Such habitat provides more energy efficient positions because of reduction in water velocity, decrease of intraspecific competition due to isolation, and protection from both avian and mammalian predators. A 2011 demographic study of brown trout in six interconnected stream reaches in southeastern Minnesota found emigration rates never exceeded 40% per season and being no more than 10% per season for 15 of the 24 reach specific age groups observed. accounting for overall mortality losses and recruitment additions, immigration contributed less than 30% to any population of any age group of brown trout. For the driftless area, within reach recruitment and survival contribute a larger proportion to the trout population than immigration does. However, immigration populates most reaches in these interconnected streams, serving to bolster populations through genetic supplementation and could repopulate any future site of extirpation. 